hey, my clients shot their first goose today, and I thought, what a perfect time for uh, me to show you guys. Maybe you guys have just shot your first waterfowl, your first goose. Maybe it's a good time to show you guys how to get the meat off of your goose. So stay tuned. This is pretty much for you beginner hunters. I want you guys to be able to get out there and don't let this stuff scare you. First thing is, is get your knife sharpener, work sharp. This is the Ken Onion Edition. Um, and we're gonna set it to right around 17 degrees. I know that's not as durable as an edge as a lot of people like to run. Um, the reason that I do that is because when I'm using these cheesy fillet knives, which um, you just buy a cheap fillet knife, and then if you got a sharpener, you could sharpen it all the time and it works really good. The reason I like the cheesy ones is they bend. And they bend real well um, and if they lose an edge on a goose or two you just run it across your your um, workshop and it's back together real quick so you just run it through yeah she's sharp all right we'll go get that goose all right so we got him here at the plucking station my quad <laughs> got the chicken house over there and the wheelbarrow fell over anyhow um we'll pluck him here and then i'll show you i kind of roast him out <laughs> all right so you want to make sure that you get all the way down on the breastbone and a goose has some wings in there too, so you can take the wings out. But you want to make sure that you get all the way down here to the breast, just like you would for a, a duck. And of course, the goose, his legs are clear up here, so you, you can take a goose leg and and uh, roast it right along with it. You could you could roast the whole thing just like you would, you know, a chicken or anything else. But you want to want to make sure that you keep enough skin on here that when you roast this, that the skin and the fat um, goes into the meat. That's that's one of the big things with cooking a goose, is making sure that it stays, you know, with that fat in. If you take the skin off, you're, you're going to make it dry, and it's going to, a lot of times, ends up tasting a lot like a, oh, I don't know, like a, a liver. So, all right, so we got, we got the wing separated. We're going right up against the bone here, and you see... There's the rib cage. We're taking all that meat. There's kind of a, a fascia or a, a, there's kind of a membrane up against the rib cage that you, you just follow that membrane when you come up here. Now, when you come around the wishbone, you're going to lose a little bit of meat in here on the wishbone. I like to come in from the backside because then you lose less meat if you come in from the backside. And again, Make sure your your knife is sh really sharp and see how I'm bending it across that breastbone. Once you get it pulled off of the breastbone here and you're pulling all the meat with it, see how I'm using the edge of my knife to get in there and get across that. It's kind of like the back end of an elk. Well, there's one, there's, watch out for those guys. <laughs> and it's kind of like the, the back end uh, the pelvic section of an elk on a on the hind quarter you just work around that see how i'm just working right on around it and i come across and once i get to the once i get back here to um the the breastbone and there, it's right here then you can start going up the breastbone now the one thing that i do differently with the goose that i don't do with ducks is i'll take and i'll come right across the breastbone and I'll cut it because you're going to roast this and quite honestly, one, one uh, goose breast, roasted goose breast is just phenomenal. So there you go. 
you have a goose breast with the skin on and then you want to clean that up as best you can and then when you barbecue it barbecue it with the meat down to, to get started and um, and then flip it and cook it extremely rare extremely rare and that's a good chunk of meat that's just that's now you want to take these I call them roast goose roast you want to take all these and get as much of the feathers as you can off out here um, you're gonna to have to of course wash them but once you got a goose that's a pretty nice goose roast right there and like I said cook them with the skin on and have that fat uh, seeping down into it and you're gonna clean some of this up you know I didn't get quite as much on there I cut it off on the other one so you're gonna to want to clean some of that up um, before you roast this thing get some roast them and keep them basted in butter or any kind of grease that you like bare fat um, but keep roasting them and uh, okay so you're gonna to want to go over this with a torch and take all the little feathers off but right now those are two goose roast ready to be washed and uh, ready for barbecue hey guys Nate Bailey here with the life outdoors I hope that last video helped you and maybe you'll get a big great big goose roast to put on the barbecue for Christmas um, here at the life outdoors one of the big things that we try to do is we try to prevent provide content for you guys to be able to go out and and get out on your own and get into the outdoors one of our biggest um, ideas is we think that if you get outdoors it's going to break through a lot of the junk that you have to deal with day in and day out across your phone across the TV and all the other stuff and in order to make this sustainable though all the content that we've been putting out and if you guys haven't seen our content just check out our channel check out our Facebook page and check out thelifeoutdoors.com and you'll see that we, we put out a lot of content trying to get you guys feeling confident outdoors and uh, jazzed up to want to go outdoors so that's what we're trying to do but to make this sustainable we we do need some funds and what we do is we created some t-shirts and some other goodies over on thelifeoutdoors.com if you guys like the content and you guys think that this is something that the world needs then you could help us by um, by you know getting a shirt or getting a phone case or whatever so we ask that you might be able to think about that and uh, if not just keep watching the content also share it that helps us a bunch too all those things you can help but um, keeping this content going out and that's what we're we're trying to do so thanks a bunch for watching get out there eat eat some of that big old goose steak and uh, get some more ducks and and just enjoy the reality that the life outdoors provides all right take care